So we've seen the launch of They Shall Not Pass and the French weapons, and we know that the Russians are coming soon along with their DLC and some of their iconic weapons. But what are some of the others that DICE should add to Battlefield 1? I've done a few videos like this in the past covering off some of those broader options, but today I really wanted to focus it in on filling in the gaps that DICE have left in this game so far. Weapons that really should be in the game right now, but for some reason, they aren't. Weapon number one, the M1917 Enfield. This one fills the gap of an American rifle not being present in Battlefield 1. Well, there is one present, it's just that no one really likes the way that DICE has implemented it. The M1903 Springfield comes in an experimental version with the Pedersen device, and that allows the weapon to act as a DMR-style semi-automatic rifle. You can equip the K-Bullet, and you can turn the rifle back into a proper bolt action, but you're limited to just five rounds, and you lack the power of other rifles' ammunition against infantry. As a solution to that problem, the M1917 Enfield could be added to Battlefield 1. This rifle was a modification of a British one, the P-13. In terms of numbers, this rifle actually surpassed the amount of Springfield rifles that made the trip across the Atlantic with the American forces. So not only would it fill the gap of being a US bolt action rifle, it would actually be historically accurate in its place as well. This rifle, also known as the P-14, came about because of the British. They commissioned American arms companies to make a new weapon before the war started, and its features mimicked a lot of the German Mauser rifles, which were known at the time to have had superior long-range accuracy. Now, by the time the Americans had entered the war, most of their suppliers were busy working on weapons that wouldn't end up in the hands of their own soldiers. And rather than stripping out all of the factories and turning all of the product lines over to the M1903 Springfield, the decision was simply taken to modify this British rifle they were making, called the P-13, and turn it into something the Americans could use. The 30 6 Springfield round was used in place of the British rounds, and by the end of the war, over 75% of American forces in Europe had been issued with a P-14, the M1917 Enfield rifle, despite it not being the rifle they should have been holding. This would be an awesome weapon to see in the lineup of Battlefield 1, especially in the Back to Basics mode, where you can only use the rifle of the country that you fight as. Weapon number two that should be in Battlefield 1 already, the Italian Carcano rifle. This one slots right in with the Italian army. It became the standard issue rifle in 1892, taking the place of the older Vertelli rifle. Its design was based loosely off the Austro-Hungarian Mannlicher M1895 rifle, and that's what you might know as the Gewehr M95 in Battlefield 1. The same en bloc charger clips were used, although they were slightly modified to fit the Carcano specifically, and they featured six of the newly invented 6.5 by 52mm rounds. This meant a reload of the rifle was only possible through ejecting the empty charger and fitting a new one in. There's no way to top off the ammunition that's still in the rifle at the time. This, however, did make reloading the rifle much easier than some of its competitors who were still stuck using standard clips into internal magazines, or in the case of the French, they were reloading single rounds into their Lebel rifle. Although this would be a rather similar rifle to the Gewehr M95 that's already in the game, I personally feel it would be a good move to introduce this for the sake of each nation or empire within the game having its own rifle. We know damn well the Russians will arrive with their Mosin Nagant, and the French just turned up with their Lebel rifle. I think it's high time the Italians got theirs as well, and that leads me very nicely onto the third weapon in this video, the Ottoman Mauser. This rifle was produced by Germany in the late 1890s, and it was very much a defining design of how other rifles produced there onwards would look. Known as the Model 1893, the weapon was initially developed for the Spanish Army, 
But after seeing its success at long range accuracy, the Ottoman Empire took an interest in it and they ordered their own supply. The weapon was slightly adapted based on Ottoman requirements. A small feed interrupter was added which could be switched on or off at a moment's notice by the user. This basically held back the next round in the cartridge and left the barrel open and that allowed the weapon to become a single shot rifle should the holder want to do that. It was also chambered in the 7.65 by 53mm round and it was the only Mauser rifle ever made to feature that feed interrupter, so very much a unique rifle in its own right. The Ottoman contracts for Mauser weapons were one of the driving factors that continued the success of the rifles through the 1900s and into the Second World War. Being such a large empire, they required huge numbers of weapons. That historical significance alone, I think, should be represented in Battlefield 1. And like the Carcano very much before it, resembling the Gewehr M95, the Ottoman Mauser would indeed function very similarly to the Gewehr 98, the German rifle in Battlefield 1, but I think its historical significance speaks for itself. And that feed interrupter could be a really good gameplay mechanic, making the weapon single shot just for a few rounds if you want to. Having that option on and off could be something really interesting in Battlefield 1. Now considering Battlefield 1 likes to go for those unconventional prototype weapons like the Hell Regal and the Ribe Rolls Carbine, why not throw another one into the mix? Now this is the possibly German Maxim MGOA SMG. I featured this one before, but recently Flackfire made a video on it and all the information came from Ian at Forgotten Weapons, so both of those sources will be linked in the description. But at a high level, you can basically think of this as a scaled down handheld version of the larger Maxim MG0815 machine gun and it's chambered for the 9mm Parabellum round. Because it's smaller and more compact than its big brother, its fire rate could be higher and recoil easier to handle, which fits right in with the SMG selection we've already got in Battlefield 1. Not a huge amount more is known about this SMG and only two actually exist and I think that makes it a perfect weapon for DICE to put their stamp on if they decided to add it to the game. And Flackfire made another interesting point. This weapon could fit straight in to the Apocalypse DLC for Battlefield 1. That's the last DLC coming out for the game and it's all set to be themed around improvised and unique weapons. This really could be a perfect fit for that scenario. And finally, weapon number 5. This doesn't really fit in with any standard category, so I'm going to invent a category just so I could put it in the video. We don't have a pistol sniper in Battlefield 1, and I think we need to have one. Once again, thanks to Ian at Forgotten Weapons for where most of this information has come from and the rather interesting picture that he's in, but let me introduce you to the scoped broom handle C96 Mauser Carbine. This is a factory produced weapon, so the carbine form does exist with the broom handle on the back, but it isn't a factory produced scope. So somebody, after the weapon was made, they took it to a gunsmith and had them mount a scope on top of it, but only shortly after it was manufactured. So in the late 1890s, somebody went and did this, and that makes it almost a unique weapon. Now sure, this weapon is not going to have seen any military service whatsoever. Some random member of the public just decided to take it to a gunsmith and modify it. But that wouldn't be the first weapon to reach Battlefield 1 without a military service history. The Hell Regal never made it beyond prototype stage and therefore a weapon like this could be a very cool addition to the game. Now as to where it actually fits in, I have no clue whatsoever. It's a carbine, so it could fit into the assault class, but then I feel it would be severely underpowered compared to other options. This weapon only has a 10 round magazine. So maybe it could be like the missing veteran weapon, you know, for Battlefield 1? Like the M1 Garand in Bad Company 2. Battlefield 1 doesn't have a veteran program, it doesn't have a veteran weapon, like many of the previous games have done. This would be a really cool weapon for people who've played those previous games. 
So those are five more weapons that DICE should add to Battlefield 1. Leave some of your suggestions below. I'd love to follow up this video with some of your ideas and highlight them in their own video in the future. I have done a couple of videos like this in the past, so if you suggest something I've already shown in a video, then I'm probably not going to show it again. But I'm just looking for cool, obscure weapons that could make the game even more fun. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.